Alright guys, welcome back. My name is Mehul and there's one more thing you need to know about NPM which I missed in the semantic versioning video is how the package.json packages are actually installed. So in the last video we saw how uh, misleading this could be uh, that is using Lodash like this and uh, it could ex install basically a higher version so that's that's bad but there's a reason for that. The reason npm installs 4.17.3 instead of you know 4.0.0 is because of this caret symbol. So what happens is that this caret symbol by default means to npm that hey just go ahead and uh, you know just consider this whatever the version number is 4.x.x .x as 4.x.x .x, where this four there these two x's make sure to upgrade them as much as possible right. So this is what this caret symbol stands for. Keep the major number same. Just make sure to upgrade these two as much as you can. If you change this caret symbol to a tilde symbol, that is like this, um, things get interesting. So let me just go ahead and remove node modules now. And let me just actually, let me just go ahead and remove express as well because express is a dirty package. It brings in a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of you know oops I'm using whim shortcuts in nano anyway so it brings a lot of uh, packages with it that's what I was saying so if we see now you're gonna see we have just lodash but now with this this tilde symbol instead of caret so if I go ahead and do an npm install now okay I think we have some problems with the okay I guess I just missed that opening bracket yep npm install now what's going to happen is that that tilde symbol is going to mean something like this 4.0.x so it means that hey just keep your major and minor number same but go ahead and update the patch version to as much as you can so if i go ahead inside node modules now and if i take a look at lodash and take a look at its package.json file you're gonna see that we get 4.0.1 instead of 4.0.0, right? That was because of the tilde symbol. If we used caret symbol, we got 4.17 point whatever the version was. So that's that's the thing with npm. npm by default uh, falls back to the updating of the patched version, right? So if I install a new package like Express, you're gonna see what npm does is that it falls back to actually um as a till as a caret symbol so that is the default behavior in npm right there's another behavior you can set that is just removing all these symbols altogether so you can just go ahead and remove the express dependency for now i'm just going to remove that and you can remove the symbol at all so what this would do is that this would install the exact package exact that package number only right so it won't install anything more anything less at all so now if I go ahead and remove node modules and if I go ahead and install, you're going to see that we actually get the real Lodash 4.0.0 for the first time, right? So if I go ahead and write package.json, you're going to see now we have the version number as 4.0.0, nothing more, nothing less. So that's how semantic versioning works in NPM. That's how you're going to make use of that. And that's it for this video. I'm going to see you pretty soon in the next one as well.